Firstly, we need to select which child the assessment has been created for. So we'll tick Johnny in this example, followed by create assessment. Do not include any other family members at this point unless you want them to be included as part of the assessment. As you scroll down the page, you can confirm that all information you have inputted is correct. Continue to scroll down the page until you reach this section. We have to select the person for this assessment again. So we'll select Johnny. Unless the reason for contact is being filled out by health visitors or school nurses as part of universal services, the reason for contact will normally be targeted. You've also been provided in a comments or warnings box where you can put down any significant details about family members or the young person themselves. At the bottom of the page, you're able to save your assessment as draft, which is recommended, and then select the next key. The tabs at the top turn blue to show which part of the assessment you have completed and indicate which part of the assessment you are on. To add services that are currently involved with the family you are working with, you need to select the plus icon here. For this example, we're going to enter the information of the GP for Johnny. We need to select that the service is ongoing and also that it comes under health, primary and community. If you select the icon for the local service, you'll be provided with a list of GP surgeries in the Devon area where you need to select the locality folder and then select the relevant practice for the young person. I'll enter the GP's name and also the young person the GP is involved with. So you save the GP's details and continue to add services that are involved with the family. Keep selecting the plus icon there to add each service. Next, we'll move on to the disability register. If the child you're working with is registered disabled, then please fill out the details on this page. For this example, Johnny doesn't have a disability, so we'll move straight on to the assessment. The assessment coordinator will automatically come up as the person inputting the information into Holistics. This again can be changed at a later date. The coordinator's details will automatically be generated into the assessment. If you continue to scroll down the page, you will need to enter the details of the date the Devon Assessment Framework started and also the date of the team around the child, if you have one. Continue to fill in the details. The Healthy Child Programme is only to be completed as indicated. Continue and complete each box with the details of your assessment and the analysis. Be precise and include all the details of the concern to ensure a positive outcome from early health. We'll continue with the details until we reach the bottom of the page. And here again, you must save as draft. From your analysis, we need to scroll back to the top of the page. The next steps tab has to be completed before you can finalise your assessment. So as we scroll down, we will select the option, as with Johnny's case, we'll proceed with the My Plan. As I scroll further down the page, you need to fill in who's completed the information on Holistics and the date when this was done. You need to select if a lead professional has been agreed. As for this example, we'll select No. In this box, we'll enter the date of the tag, providing you have one, and save as draft. From here, we'll select the next button and you'll be taken to the consent statement. As so you scroll down the page, you'll need to select the case member the consent relates to. If it's a single person, you select this icon. Or if for the whole family, you need to select this icon. You need to input the date the consent was given and who gave the consent. In this case, it was Mum Candice. You need to tick the boxes for the sharing of information and also that Mum has read the assessment and agrees with the information you have entered. The person giving consent needs to consider the options. Do they give consent to any service necessary to support their family having access to the DAF or do they want to specify? Use the options here to indicate their choice. Save as draft again so that you can review your assessment. If you are happy with the content, you can save as final here. 
once you have saved as final, you cannot amend the assessment and you will need to create another. You are unable to move forward to the My Plan without finalising consent and assessment. If you have been able to scan and save the consent form, you'll be able to upload the document into the system by selecting the Go to Documents tab. On this page, you can select the folder you wish the consent form to go to and then select Upload New Document. Enter the title and any notes necessary. You can browse for the necessary document, upload and then select Save. The folder will now indicate that you have stored the information on there.